How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Platinum. Last time, we had a rematch with Mars at Lake Verity and cleared through this new unexplored area of Mount Coronet. And we arrived here in this snowy winter wonderland. And in this episode, guys, it's time to go explore some of it. Uh, you know, I think it helps a little bit that it's, that it's nighttime. Because it just makes snow and, you know, it's winter and everything just all that more serene and magical looking and magical looking, sure. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, man. I just love... Winter is my favorite time of year. And I love everything about it. And I love snow, and I love, you know, just, like, the idea of drinking hot chocolate. Oh, it's getting me just, like, pumped thinking about it. I think, actually, um, I'm going to do a lot of those fights down there at the bottom as well. This is actually the first and, uh, only area, this and the next, uh, route, where we can catch our, uh, very own ice-type Pokemon. Oh, look at that! It's the snow and everything's so awesome! Sending out Golduck. Hey, we've got one of those. Hey, it's a female me. Yeah, what are you, what are you gonna do about that, GB? I don't, I don't know. It's a, it's a female me though. Look at that. Yeah, you're right. It's, I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. I guess that would be. Um, seems as though you're just going to be confusing each other. Yeah, that tends to be how a lot of the things in my life are. That's a little depressing, GB. Uh, this is happy times. Apparently it's hailing out. I only saw snow, but that's just me. No, it, that is the winter version of uh, the weather effects in this game. In uh, all Pokemon games, it's never snow. No, it's only, only ever hail. Alright, Card Gage, you're gonna have to defeat GB. Oh no! Whatever will I do? That sounded a little too sarcastic, and that makes it seem like you actually want to defeat me. Yeah, Card Gage, what's the deal? Do you- why do you want to defeat GB? I don't, I just- I thought I would cause some conflict. Maybe, even though I didn't need to. Come on, man, Golden Bolt said not to cause any conflict. Because, because he wants everyone to be happy and all that because it's snowing outside. That's his favorite kind of weather. I love snow and ice! Uh, Goodyear, you know that's not the best idea for you to like, is snow and ice. I mean, that would be very bad for you. It would not feel good. It would hurt a lot. I don't know how you'd be okay with that. Oh, Rapidash. Another potential almost, we almost had this Pokemon. Uh, Rapidash is an extremely good fire type Pokemon, man. Uh, I am personally, <clears throat> just don't burn me, I am personally more partial to Houndoom. Aesthetically, just having that dark type and everything, but man, Rapidash is good. Look at that. Well, I shouldn't say look at that, because we took it out in one hit, but look at it! It's cool, it's glorious, it's got a wonderful fiery, like, mane, I guess. It's cool, right? I guess? I don't know. I think Rapidash is neat. Anyway, Chibi's getting buffeted by all that hail that we can actually see, and sending out pseudo Woodoo. You have a very interesting team to, uh... She has a very interesting team to, uh, you know, be friends with her out in the snow and everything. My only guess is pseudo Woodoo. I don't really know what he would do. Rapidash would probably be to keep her warm, and GB, I'm sure, would be a great friend, because that's what Golducks do, right? They're the, they're the most incredible companions. You know, I if I had to be... Oh yeah? Eat snowball, punk! I like you. You called me a punk. No, I don't like that, but I mean, I like the snowball thing. Eh, hey, revive down there. That's nice. That's nice to... Always good to have free revives. Because they are dang expensive. Um, is there an item around here? There's gotta be. There's gotta be something. Is there nothing, really? I guess, I guess not. Um, alright, so here's the deal. I'm gonna go back because I want to do a lot of this fighting in the snow. I hope that's okay with you guys. I do like that the snow gets heavier and it's harder to walk through it. Uh, oh, snow, don't know. Wild encounters, dang it! Alright, had a couple more, but we're good. Um, to your guys' request before, and I don't know why I didn't think of this myself, uh, I actually did teach Dax Substitute so that, uh, that high risk, high reward deal of Focus Punch isn't necessarily all wasted, god dang it! Oh, hey, we have a Sneasel here. Another choice that I had in my head, which I was actually surprised a lot of you guys didn't, uh, didn't actually request. Let's, let's get this substitute in action thing, um, and see how it goes. Not like it matters, because Revenge would totally one-hit KO this thing as it is. 
But let's turn into a substitute! I like that plushie of that that Mr. Sakurai had for uh, the Smash Bros. Direct. I think I would like one of that little substitute plushie that he had. That's pretty awesome. And uh, now... Oh, actually, I messed this up. Oops, I messed it up! No, I didn't. That's right. Tightening his focus. And he's gonna faint attack this, but he's not actually going to attack us to interrupt our pro interrupt our deal with the uh, charge enough focus punch. And let's use focus punch. It's actually awesome and allows us to essentially guarantee our focus punch hit and take out a sneasel. Not like we couldn't have before. I'm sure revenge would have done it itself. But there you go. And it's gonna be nice for training because I'm probably going to be doing a lot of that. Let's fight in the snow, friend. Let's do it. I'm an elite battler, but cold is my nemesis. Then why are you hanging out here in the snowy mountains? See, this is where I want to hang out, Ace Trainer Blake. You look like a fool. You look like a... Holy frick, why is this thing almost level... It's ten levels higher than us. My gosh. I don't actually know if... Oh, oh, just got a Twitter follower. How about that? That's pretty cool. Um... Jeez. Oh, no, my time... Oh no! Lots of things just went, oh no. My phone's battery just died, so my timer's off. Oh well, I, I haven't done a cut really, so... I'll just base this on my recording timer? Oh no. God dang it, I'm dumb sometimes. I didn't charge my phone before I recorded this multiple episodes. Um, but whatever, we'll be fine, I think. I hope so. Well, if it's a lot... Mm, I just won't do any cuts, maybe. Unless something's bad. But I'll be able to gauge it. We'll be fine. It's not important. What's important is we're using flamethrower on a monkey. That sounds terrible. That sounds awful and miserable and bad. One should never say something like that. Oh, a terrible person. No, you're not. This silly monkey looks stupid. You know, Jigsaw, you really are to take seriously sometimes when you just say like... Oh, well, once you die, of course, and when you say that this silly monkey looks stupid. Dude, you got whomped by Abby Ambipom. You got freaking whomped. All right, so probably between this episode and the next one, we're going to do a butt-ton of off-screen training. I'm sorry, Card Gauge, that you're going to be lacking a little bit on the uh, level side, but, you know, we will... Uh, not Card Gauge. Did I say Card Gauge? I meant Don Lino. Card Gauge is dominating the leveling right now. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that, Don Lino. We did need to take whoops. I know, I don't mean to feel, I, now I feel bad about my own Pokemon not being with me. It's okay, I promise. As I said, I'm Don Lino. I'm the best there is. There's nothing to worry about. I'm totally 100% fine. And hey, Card Gauge, if you happen to miss any more times, don't worry about it, because eventually the hail's gonna take out Ambipom. Don Lemo, like... Dude, how are you even here? Don't worry about it, bro. It's all good. If he wants to be here, man, let him be here. Hey, just coming from the dead guy. Dude, not dead. Just passed out, alright? Don't worry about me. Is Dax defeat? I think Dax was... Yeah, he was, I think, right? Maybe he wasn't. I don't remember. Ah, sending out Porygon 2, are you? Ace Trainer Blake, you have proven to be quite the challenger. All right, let's trace our overgrow. All right, let's use earthquake. Mm. Oh, not signal beam. What in the what? Why does this poor? Well, I mean, I guess it's a pretty standard move for Porygon too. But what in the why does this Porygon two have signal beam? Ah, dang it. All right, well, um, let's see what we got here. Half our team has been defeated by this guy. This dude is. Dude's a freaking pro is what he is. My gosh. All right, GB. You're going to probably get hurt by something random and huge, so we're going to use a Hyper Potion and make sure you're all right enough to, you know, pull off Surf. Jeez. What is, what's with this guy? We definitely need to do some off-screen training. We're going to do a lot. We're going to do a, a pretty large amount between this, this episode and the next one. Don't do a lot, please. Thank you. That was not a lot. Now, all right, GB, let's pull off Surf and let's put this strange-looking Robo Duck to rest. What do you have against ducks? I don't have anything, have any, anything against ducks. I just don't want you to be defeated by Porygon Two, like freaking Card Gauge was. Don't! I wasn't defeated. Hold on, I'm, I'm fine. I promise. I'm totally, perfectly okay. Transformed into the freaking dragon type. 
which means that our surf is going to do very less than I had hoped. But let's hope it does enough. Come on, surf, do something. Do something. Uh, what is the deal? Oh my god! What is the deal with this Porygon? This guy's insane! Ah, the dragon type he added onto himself now. That is. That's very unfortunate. Ah, uh, I didn't bring. I didn't. Now, now, now I'm wishing I had Glaceon right now. Oh god. Ah, uh, this guy's nuts. Alright. So. The dragon type, eh? Jigsaw, I suppose. No, I don't. I'm kind of screwed right now. The signal beam's gonna do. I, I don't. I don't. I'm stumped. I guess Goodyear would be fine. Because he did turn to the dragon type. So that I can use my ghost type moves on him now. I don't think any. I don't think he has any dark types on him right now, so that would be good if he didn't. Yeah, that'd be actually very nice! Alright, just go ahead and sit and use Recover. As long as you're staying the Dragon type and not switching to something ridiculous, that would be good. That'd be wonderful. That'd be ma amazing! Let's see what uh, Shadow Ball can do. I don't expect it to do very much, but let's hope it does something! Come on, Goodyear! I'm doing my best! You're not leveling me up as much as you were! Oh, no kidding. Oh, Goodyear, what's going on? I really need to level my team up. Hmm, what? Okay, mm well, I know, uh, I know what I'm gonna be spending a lot of time doing between this, uh, between this episode and the next one. Guess I won't be recording a whole bunch in bulk, at least in this one sitting. But, uh, cause I gotta take some time and freaking level up our, level up our Pokemon. My gosh. Don Lino's gonna have a little bit to catch up on. Let's... Ah, uh, god. This Porygon too, man. This Porygon too. Alright, what are you converting to now, Porygon 2? Something into the steel type. Alright, so now we can uh, use Revive on Jigsaw and put the smack down on this thing. I'm tired of that. <sighs> you better be doing that. I'm <laughs> really important. Oh, Jigsaw we know. As long as he doesn't convert anymore, that would be wonderful. Now he's just gonna sit there and recover. So fine, fine, you and your Porygon 2, Blake. I don't know what your deal is, being a random trainer on the road, but... What was that? A little bit of... Being a little bit of trainer... I don't... What? What was that impression? I don't even friggin' know. Uh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, man. This Porygon 2 is making my brain m turn to mush. Alright, Jigsaw. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... We're gonna... Oh! Aha! No more switching types for you, Porygon 2, you cheap. It's annoying. But I now see why a lot of competitive people prefer Porygon 2 to the likes of Porygon Z. Anyway, let's hope he doesn't change his typing again. At least, and if he does, hopefully it's something that uh, Jigsaw, I almost called him Goodyear, will be able to counter. Aha! It failed! You numbnuts! It's time to burninate this steel type! That's how I like to do things. Let's burninate it, Jigsaw. <laughs> With pleasure. This stupid Porygon 2 is even more difficult than anything Byron had to do. You're right, actually. This random trainer on the road, on the way up to Snowpoint City, has proven to be more formidable than the gym leader, Byron. We made, like, no progress in this episode. We went, like, nowhere. Blake is trainer Blake, but how? Am I weak at battling, too? No, you're actually crazy incredibly good. Well, I suppose, uh, if there are trainers, maybe we'll be off-screening them, uh, in between this episode and the next one, because I've got some serious training to do, guys. But anyway, let's hope I don't run into any wild encounters. Oh my gosh, really? The last little patch of grass that I will go into in this episode and I had to get a wild encounter. Anyway guys, let's make some progress before we end this episode off. Let's go down this hill. Yeah guys, next time we're going to be doing more of this route onward to Snowpoint City. I have a feeling this will be a little while. I hope you guys are okay with it. I do love me the snow. Anyway guys. We're going to end off the episode here, and we're probably going to do a lot of off-screen training between, excuse me, this episode and the next one, if that sounds good. I'm okay with it. Me too! Card Gage, you're actually probably the most fine right now. We need, like, Goodyear and Dax to at least step it up a little bit. Yeah, bro, I'm all for getting more powerful, man. Sounds good, Dax. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.